you just let the intro play out on every credit. Yeah, I'm not I'm not dying on the first boss. Fuck that. If you consider that the first boss, that's not even the end of the stage. The real first boss is the wall. The, the helicopter boss too quickly. And yeah, that's right, the, the NES one, like the the stage does end after the helicopter, because again, like the uh, like the NES uh, port of the original Contra, they made uh, they made Super C a bit longer. They made it they fleshed it out a bit more. The arcade contras just feel so they feel so rushed. It's weird. Exactly. When you have a short game, it keeps game time down and gets some somebody else to put in a quarter. Oops, come on, give me that shell. Shell available. Because you have to remember, there were still. It was around like the mid '80s, like arcade games started having endings more often like there were still you know the early 80s all pretty much every game would just go on forever until you until you lost all your lives or until the game crashed unless it was a unless it was a timed game unless it was like a racing game or something but there was a definite uh, a lot of those golden age games kind of made it possible to marathon if you uh if you could play for hours on one credit, if you got good enough, but... Unless you were playing a game that was too hard, like Sinistar. And Konami kind of, like... So, so, games started having endings more and more often, and, like, a lot of... A lot of games, you can just buy your way to the ending. If you uh, if you want to continue, but Konami like they uh, they kind of handled continues like they handled it weirdly for a while because you don't you don't have infinite continues in this game. You're given you can continue up to three times and then it's over, which is kind of weird because the game's so short in the first place. Contra did the same thing. Stupid foreground. Okay. Oh. <laughs> and vulnerability. Ultimo, thank you for the bits. Alright. Hey, I haven't died yet. I'm probably gonna die on the boss. That keeps happening. Oh yeah, that was good timing on the... <laughs> Take a bath, idiot. Oh no, 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 I don't want the weapon! Okay. Alright. 
Probably not aliens. Okay, let's take out that thing first. There we go. I always fuck that up and, like, I jump at the wrong time. I like how he just drops down there. Oh, Guts World already in stage four. This stage is kind of annoying just for these uh, these slopes, because these aliens take take multiple hits, and the slopes kind of block your shots. Once you get that that optimal angle. Slide down. Okay. Straight up chest busters. Okay. Quick kill this motherfucker. The final stage is a is a top down stage. Great. I haven't died yet though. Oh. I don't know the best time to use a shell. I think I'm just gonna use it here. I don't like these things that come out of the ground. That didn't kill them anyway. I usually die before I get to use the shell, so I might as well use it. Yeah, I mean, spread's not bad in this game. It's better than the, the default gun, but... If you can if you can keep the level 2 machine gun alive, you're... You're in good hands. I'm not touching you! I respect that these enemies are just there to get in the way. Alright, the, the soccer ball gauntlet. Look, look, look. Run, 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 run! Aww, there goes the no-miss. Uh, do I want that? That's the... Yeah, I'll take level 1 machine gun, why not? That only spawns if you died. Another, another rake mechanic. Oh, that's the wall, brother. There we go. Look out for those meatballs! Those meatballs will actually kill you. That happened to me the first time. Alright, tree last boss. Have to kill the the arms on the side. Might as well do it though. Baby escapes. I know, Dan. We still got to do that uh, that two-player one CC. Oh, Bill's jacking it.
Now, if I was playing the Japanese version, it actually takes you to a second loop. Which is way harder than the first. A hearty thanks to all the staffs at Konami Coin Operated Division, and special thanks to you for playing this game. Presented by Konmai. Thank you, A2B. The end. You are the best Contra. Oh, I didn't even mention the uh, the first time I saw this game in an arcade. It was actually in a uh, in a movie theater uh, when we went out to like visit my uh, uh, visit our family in California. We went to a movie theater to go see a, a movie that had come out that that summer. A movie called Willow. What is this place? Keep your eyes. It all here. comes together. Have I done Midnight Resistance yet? You might just see it tonight. You never know. Hopefully. But yeah, needless to say, I asked Mom for, for quarters to, uh, so I could play this. Like, oh shit, Super Contra! Thank you, JCW. Yeah, Willow was already... The arcade version of Willow was already done on Episode 1, of course, because that's a... That's a BBH classic around here. All right, let's... Let's shift gears from, from Konami for just a little bit. Do another game I've... I've done on this... 